Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. So here I am with one more important video of Class 10, Social Science, that is History Chapter, The Advent of Europeans to India, Part 3. As you all know, we are going up with a series of question bank and its questions of Chapter Number 1 and already Part 1 and 2 of the chapters. Questions have been uploaded and this is a part three. The uh, so to give a brief information about the part one and part two, part one uh, consists of all the objective questions and part two consists of all the short answer questions. The video link will also be shared with you all in the i button above so that if you have missed it, you can go and watch it right away. And here we are with part three, all the long answer type questions from this chapter. Again, to give a reminder, this is all a question bank or a, a book where a video or a platform where you get all the important questions of the chapter so that you can uh, prepare in one go and under one seat. So let's get started. But a reminder again, if you're new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming important videos. So let's get quickly started with the long answer type questions. And here we go. The first one. How did trade take place between India and Europe during Middle Ages? Answer, there was great demand for Indian spices like pepper, cardamom, ginger, and many other spices in Europe. Arab merchants carried Asian, mer Asian merchandise into Constantinople of Eastern Roman Empire, that is Byzantium. Italian merchants would buy these goods and then sell in European countries. So this is how the trade took place. Next question. Discuss the reasons that resulted in the discovery of New Sea Road to India. Answer. The reasons that resulted in the discovery of New Sea Road to India are as follows. The city of Constantinople was the center of international business. The Ottoman Turks captured Constantinople in 1453 and the trade route through Constantinople came under their control. The Turks levied many taxes on goods passing through Constantinople. Hence, the merchants felt that the trade was not profitable. In order to break the monopoly of trade by the Ottoman Turks, Spain and Portugal, encouraged daring sailors to discover a sea route to India. Moreover, the invention of compass, astrolabs, and gunpowder encouraged the sailors and aided them in the search for a new sea route to India. Eventually, Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese sailor, was the first to discover a sea route to India through the Cape of Good Hope after landing in Kapadu near Calicut on the east coast of Kerala in India in 1498. So these were the reasons that resulted to the discovery of New Sea Route to India. If it's required, you can take a pause of the video or a screenshot and go through it again. So let's move ahead with the next question. Make a list of the Europeans who arrived in India to do business. Answer, the list of Europeans who arrived in India for business are Portuguese, English, Dutch, and French. Next, state the reasons or the causes of Plassey War. Or it could be asked as what are the reasons of the Plassey War or write the causes for the Plassey War. Okay, so any type of question twisted, the answer remains the same. So the answer for the reasons of the Plassey War are misuse of Dastakhats. Siraj Dola was furious that the Dastakhats were misused by the officials of the company, incurring losses to the government treasury. Mending of the fort without permission. The British repaired the fort of Calcutta and placed cannons in them. This further angered Siraj Dola and he ordered the removal of cannons from the court. The British refused to do this, angering the Nawab of further. 
ब्लैक रूम ट्रेजडी सिराज उद्दौला कॉन्कर्ड द फोर्ट विलियम इजिली एंड इम प्रेजेंट सम ऑफ द ब्रिटिश ही इम प्रेजेंट वन फोर्टी सिक्स इंग्लिश मैन इन अ स्मॉल रूम इन द फोर्ट ऑफ विच वन ट्वेंटी थ्री डाइट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द ब्लैक रूम ट्रेजडी दिस एनरेज्ड रॉबर्ट क्लाइव एंड ही अराइव इन बेंगाल विद अ लार्ज आर्मी सो दिस आर द कॉजेज ऑफ प्लाजी वॉर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन What were the results of Battle of Buxar? Answer: The results of Battle of Buxar are, Shah Alam II accorded the Diwani rights over Bengal to the British. Shah Alam II gave away all the rights over Bengal to the British for an annual fee of rupees twenty six lakhs. The Nawab of Awadh had to give away. a fine of rupees 50 lakh for waging a war against the company with the death of mir jafar the company paid pension to his son and took over the entire administration of bengal so these were the results of battle of buxar next question the carnatic war helped the british to consolidate their rule in india justify answer During the First Carnatic War from seventeen forty six to forty eight, the French under Dupleix attacked Madras, but were defeated by the British. In the Carnatic War, the English under Sir Eyre Coote defeated the French army led by Comte de Lally in the Battle of Vandivosh in seventeen sixty. Lally escaped, but. When he attacked Pondicherry, he was defeated and surrendered unconditionally in seventeen sixty one. The French lost all their power, all their bases in India. The Second Carnatic War ended with the defeat of the combined forces of Nawab of Arcot and the French. The English gained supremacy and political control over South India. okay so this is how carnatic war helped the british to consolidate the role in india so with this explanation you can justify your answers next what was the outcome or the results of the battle of plassey answer this war brought out the immorality lack of human unity among the indians and the greed of indian businessmen mir jafar became the nawab of bengal the company gained exclusive rights to do business in bengal mir jafar had to pay rupees 17 crores and 70 lakh as a relief to siraj ud-daulas attack on the fort william so this were the results of battle of plassey next question write a note on robert clive answer robert clive laid the firm foundation of the british power in india he had joined the east india company as clerk he played a decisive role in carnatic wars particularly in the siege of arcot and played a prominent role in the british victory he was successful in establishing the rule over south india and was instrumental in bengal victory also after the battle of plassey in 1757 he gained control over the nawab of bengal clive amassed immense wealth in all these ventures and helped the east india company to earn more profit clive returned to england with immense wealth and became the member of parliament With the return of Clive to England, the East India Company started facing losses in its business. Even though there were many allegations against Clive, the British government had to resend Clive to India to save the company and also save the face of the country. Okay, so this was a note on Robert Clive. So with these questions, we come to an end with the long question answers of this chapter, and I hope this video was helpful. 
and all i hope you all have seen all the three series three part of this entire chapter where we have covered most of the questions and as a question bank i hope this videos will be very helpful for you all so stay tuned for more such videos and if you like the video do hit the like button we'll be back soon with more such videos of the other chapters also do comment if you want all the other chapters important questions in the same manner as you just did in the first chapter so stay tuned